Hi guys, it's reaction time. We've got Striper and End of Days. So man, this is the big one. That's probably the biggest one for me on this channel. Striper is where it started with me really. Um, when my videos started getting more popular, the channel grew because I interviewed Michael Sweet as well. Check that uh, interview out. That was absolutely fantastic. I'm looking to interview Michael again, actually, very soon. Um, he's caught up with me and we're gonna, we're gonna talk again. So that's really exciting for me. I, I love Michael Sweet. He's such a great guy. And he basically sharing my videos, he, he made the channel grow very quickly. Um, and I put a lot of that down to Michael um, himself. Such a great guy. So we're here. Um, one of the most consistently great bands out there at the moment. Um, you know, especially from that 80s period that I grew up with. You know, how many bands now are consistently that good? There's some great, great bands, don't get me wrong, from the 80s still that are producing some great music. But I think... Striper, if you think about it, their albums, you know, their last five albums, um, and of course you've got their classic 80s period, and then you've got that middle section, and then you've got their newer um, albums, you know, the since No More Hell to Pay. Those five albums, man, I mean, there could be an argument by anyone, it wouldn't surprise me which is the best album out of those. There's an argument to be had for every single album. And there is, the, you know, those five albums are so great. Putting them together and choosing your favourites is almost an impossibility. They're, they're brilliant. And how many bands do you know that have had a run of five albums uh, that good, consistently brilliant? So, man, I love Striper. Every couple of years we get a great album. And the final battle, the last one, was no exception. Such high quality, you know, this at this stage of their career. Um, and it's excited me hearing about what Michael's been saying about this album in the press. I know it, it gets the mickey taken out of him sometimes about, you know, saying this is our best album. I think he actually believes it. And it, like I said, there could be an argument to for the last five albums, at least, to say that is the best album of their career. I can understand an argument for every single one of those. But, you know, he's got a lot of confidence in this band, and so he should. I mean, they are creating some brilliant, brilliant music. And, you know, and there's some, been some letdowns as well. I said there's some great bands out of the 80s now that are producing great music, but there's also some real letdowns, isn't there? They just can't seem to find that magic. And Striper create that magic again and again and again. Um, consistently brilliant, they really are. So, End of Days by Striper. Um, I'm not sure if the album, the date for the album has been announced yet. I know I've seen a track listing. I'm not sure if the album's called End of Days. Or maybe I'm getting confused, I don't know. But all I know is new Striper is here. I've had loads of people um ask for this reaction um and i usually i wait till the weekend it's early the next morning since the release uh, i can't wait till the weekend i've got to hear this this is striper this is end of days here we go
just wow. What is it with this band, man? They, I mean, there's just a guarantee that they're going to produce brilliance every time. I think this, I think this is the opening track. If the track list in our CD is real, <laughs> I can't remember where it came from, whether it was on like a fan site or their actual site. I think this is one of the best openers they've done over the past few years. I mean, don't get me wrong, all the openers have been great. Um, they've almost had this, like, especially on the last album, it's almost had like the, the opener on the last album, they almost had a, a very priest feel. This feels just like, this feels like Striper. This feels like classic Striper, but obviously with that modern, you know, production that they've got, almost reminds me of the No More Hell to Pay um, feel, especially the guitar tone. It almost has that real sort of cool sound. I think he's perfected, uh, I think the band have perfected that guitar tone brilliantly. I felt like the drums were slightly too high in the mix on the final battle. It didn't affect the quality of the album whatsoever. I just felt it needed toning down a little bit. I think they've done that on this. Then almost like, you know, it's perfectly balanced. I know that Michael Sweet, as far as production is concerned, is a perfectionist. And I'm sure, you know, he will look at every album that he's done and try and get it better next time. And I feel like the production's even better here. Perfectly balanced. You know, I love the way that the twin lead part on this, the, the main sort of twin lead part, sort of almost had a Maiden-esque feel, but feel, feeling very striker at the same time. Almost as a, um, I like the way it just had the twin lead guitars, but no rhythm guitar, can't hear a rhythm guitar in the background. Makes it very authentic, like, you know, that's what you hear live. And that's, I, I love that. Sometimes, you know, all bands will put a rhythm guitar in there, even though they've got two guitarists in the studio, they put a rhythm guitar behind it to fill it up a little bit more. I love the way that sounds because it almost makes it sound a little bit sad, almost melancholy, that sort of part of it. The chorus almost has a melancholy sort of feel to it, a sadness behind it, which is what Striper do quite a bit. I mean, I mean, you've only got to check out like do unto others to, to feel that, that melancholy side they've got, even in a heavy song like this. That is the perfect sort of striper trait that they, with their melody, they've got this sort of sadness in some of their guitar parts. I absolutely love them for that. Um, it's brilliant. It's got the heaviness. It's sort of almost like a stripped back feel I feel in this, which is great. It will mean it transforms to the live situation perfectly. Michael sounds on fire as usual. I mean, Michael does appear, his vocals appear on a lot of other stuff as well. You know, he's sung on a lot of stuff lately. But Striper is where it's at for me. Any solo stuff, they're very close. I mean, solo stuff is great, but Striper is the thing. And that's how it should be. That, that's my favorite part of Michael Sweet. And, you know, he just, his vocals fit the band perfectly. They're, they're part of Striper. They're so identifiable. You know, come on, you know it's Striper. And it ain't just Michael's vocals that gives you that. It's the whole band. The guitar work's amazing. Um, I'm really looking forward to the solo. Robert Sweet's drums are just fantastic as usual. Um, Perry's bass, I think that's just so important to this band now. Obviously the newest member of the band, but man, he's like he's been there for years now. <laughs> Oz Fox, as usual, you know, he's just such an important part of this band. I know he went in for another operation not so long ago, so get well soon, mate. He looks like he's on recovery again, so that's great. I mean, the it's such a fantastic band. Nothing seems to stop them. It really doesn't. Um, really looking forward to the rest of this. Just so looking forward to a solo. I hope they smash it out of the park on this one, and I'm sure they will. Here we go, guys.
absolutely amazing stuff, man. You know what? It even exceeded what I expected. And you always expect brilliance with Striper, man. But that just had something. It almost, I mean, when I listen to, I think out of the new five albums we're talking about, I still, there's something about No More Hell to Pay that just grabs me. I don't know if it's because it was the, like the return of Striper, but that almost had a perfect balance of modern Striper and taking some of that soldiers under command feel sort of mixed in with it. And I feel like this has that feel as well, almost the guitar tone, the way it feels, the melodies, almost as that soldiers under command stroke, no more hell to pay feel. I mean, man, that is such a great thing for me. That is my you know, putting those two albums side by side, a mixture of those is just amazing. Obviously, production is nothing like uh, Soldiers Under Command, if you actually listen to that. There's, there's something nostalgically good about it, but that's what it is, I think, nostalgia. If you put Soldiers Under Command next to their new albums, production doesn't even match. It's, you know, it's great for that time, but man, the, you know, the, the way the, the band sounds now and the mix is just outstanding that was amazing another great song by striper but you come to expect that man <laughs> you really do i mean it's going to be a surprise when they don't write a great song one of my favorite bands ever striper end of days amazing stuff let me know what you guys think of it in the comments below and i'll see you soon